Hello friends, after a long time I am starting my lecture. Due to time concern, I was not able to take the lecture. There were many students who might need to help personally. That's why I was not able to record the video and upload it. Sorry for that. I hope whatever I have thought it might have helped in your May 16 exam. I hope the uh, theory has came a lot. And you. I hope you have written well because I think uh, they have asked the residential status of the company and I think I have taught you the residential status of the company by that drawing of the chart. I hope you all have written by elaborating it and I hope the set off and carry forward chart table you have learned properly that might have helped you in your exam for the, it has came for 8, mark, 8 marks I guess and what else uh, and ATG section might have also helped you because it has also came it was limited 50 and what else there was I am sorry capital gain did not came it was better I didn't thought the capital gain remaining section the remaining part that I have not thought because there was no full fledged sum for capital gain house property I don't know why they have did like that but it's okay it happens sometimes I hope your paper has gone well uh, this time I will be recording for direct text and direct text as well as for costing and FM with the practice manual I will solve the sums from the practice manual in my own manner uh, it will help you I request all of you all to make a two separate books till now what I have taught you all I hope you have written it somewhere to so maintain a book for theory that you will need it during the exam to revise because there is one and a half day before the exam of taxation and there is time constraint you don't know what to study and what not to study so if you have the theory part in some different book that will help you well and solve the sums in some other book uh, make two separate book one book for theory and one book for practical so now i am teaching the theory part after completing the theory part i'll start the sum for capital gain i'll teach the capital gain sums i'll i'll tell you which are the similar some you don't need to see during the exams i'll make you all prepare i'll spoon feed you all literally spoon feed you all so that during the exam you don't need to study anything extra i'll i'll make a sum i'll make such a sum that if you solve that particular sum that will help you you don't need to solve any other sums so have faith in me please have patience i'm sorry for last time what happened for the may 16 students but whatever i have thought that might have helped you a lot that might have help you to cover a few marks I hope your text paper was good. Uh, indirect text paper I have seen if you have if you have done it properly, if you have studied it properly, then you might have get good marks. Because this time the papers were quite tough. I have heard about the accounts paper. It wasn't expected so but it's okay. And the law paper was extremely easy. But they have changed the structure. I ha also had the structure of the law paper. All it is it is a pattern of the Institute to first start with the negotiable, uh, sorry, not negotiable, to start with the Indian contract act, then company, then the ethics and communication for the first 20 marks. But uh, but this time they have given the first two questions, uh, the first two compulsory questions as company accounts and there was hardly the pattern that was followed in the previous exam. So this time it was quite tough don't think that the pattern might come the same that had happened right now it might change again because sometimes in the exam they do so to test the abilities of the students they put easy sums but they make the paper quite lengthy so the students get panic and they do silly mistakes and it is a high chance that you do silly mistake however you are cautious it will happen so don't worry now i'll take accounts also i'll I'm, I'm taking entire group one except law if you all need law I'll give my provisions how, how I studied my provisions how I made the notes I'll give you my notes if you all want it please comment in the section below so that uh, I'll get an inspiration to do if you all don't want if there is no comment for this I will think you all don't need the law thing because I had made ethics and communications notes also that are quite effective to remember with the acronyms if you all know uh, what acronyms I do I, I guess it had helped you in the previous exam so let's continue with the remaining sections of the capital gain <laughs> it was better I didn't thought it it didn't came for exam so let's start with the capital gain the section section 47 247 247 is for transfer if you remember there are I told you capital gain definition is capital gain equal to section 45 subsection 1 is equal to capital asset 
that is section 240 plus transfer of capital asset i have given the definition in my previous videos this was pending so i am completing the pending part transfer so what all comes in the transfer is first sale of capital asset that is quite common sense sale of capital asset exchange of capital asset please don't copy it's my request at the end you copy i'll give i give time you know then compulsory acquisition of capital asset fourth conversion of capital assets into stock in trade people were asking for this only i guess most many of the people have commented that the, please upload the remaining section because there is a sum in the practice manual on this but it didn't came in the exam i'm feeling so bad the capital gain sum used to come for eight marks house property sum used to come for eight marks salary has not came i was so shocked seeing the paper so it was better whatever i didn't thought you all that didn't came in exam salary didn't came in exam pgpp didn't came in. pgpp one sum came in exam which was covering an amendment of section 32 one one subsection uh, small uh, roman 2a uh, that is for additional depreciation so that's what that was very shocking for me they have put the amendment but it was quite easy so i'll cover the amendments right now all i'm i'll take all the lectures i'll complete the direct text with the practice manual i'll show you the sums what to solve and what not to solve during the exam that will be quite effective for you all to study because in one and a half day period it is very difficult to study everything and after studying direct text you don't have any stamina to recall service text uh, you can recall that excise duty and all stuff but you can't recall send credit and service tax so i'll make your life a little bit easier have faith and please uh, please subscribe tell your friends to subscribe the channel to get the latest update because the entire group one will be covered along with the practice manual uh, i'll i'll put up my normal posters where, where i put in the ca libraries i'll put up there ask your friend to see it once and if you have any group uh, you are studying if any if you all are studying in any classes and you have made a group of particular classes then please post the link of the channel to your friends so that it might be effective for you because if you all type a particular sum or similar type of a sum you'll get it online and if you see it how i have solved and you can apply that pattern solving because I, i'll cover your as also i'll cover everything the entire group one for free you all have to just look at the video and study that's it i'm doing it for you all it's not i don't have any profit for me i'm doing it for all of you all for all ca students i'm feeling so bad for every student who have repeated the exam because they don't have any sources to study and they think what are what they are studying is right and they are not willing to go for classes again because they think why to go for classes i've studied already so much i have already in the notes so don't hesitate now you don't need to go anywhere you have youtube you have my channel please subscribe and enjoy and start learning fast you all can complete the portion in like 16 hours studying 16 hours a day or 10 hours a day or 4 hours a day it depends entirely on you so let's continue uh, please write this much first i hope you have paused the video and wrote it down now let's start sale of capital asset Sale of capital asset normal FVOC full value of consideration is equal to the amount of consideration so that I don't need to teach all amount of consideration second exchange of capital asset this is something new what is exchange of capital asset exchange of capital asset in exchange of capital asset means you have given some asset and you are taking back some asset like you have given a gold ring and you are giving it to the jeweler and jeweler is giving you an earrings so it is just an exchange of capital asset so how to calculate capital gain on it 
एस पी ओ सी इज इक्वल टू फैम मार्केट वैल्यू एफ एम वी ऑफ द कैपिटल एसेट ओके थर्ड कंपलसरी एक्विजिशन ऑफ कैपिटल एसेट्स सो इन कंपलसरी वट इज कंपलसरी एक्विजिशन ऑफ कैपिटल एसेट मेनी आर टाइम्स गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टेक अ पर्टिक्युलर लैंड एंड एक्विजेट एट कंपलसरी दे से इट इज दे वॉन्ट टू मेक अ रोड ओवर दै एंड दे एक्विजेट द लैंड और द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द एस एस सी एंड दे प्रोवाइड सम कंपेंसेशन सो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट कैपिटल गेन ऑन इट इट इज इट इज गिवन इन दिस पार्ट सो फर्स्ट यू राइट दिस मच दिस पार्ट विल बी थॉट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो एंड राइट इट डाउन आई होप यू हैव कॉपेड next video on compulsory acquisition of capital asset